Hello everyone, my name is Asal Gojeling and today I'm going to make a video about daily hot chocolate maker. So let's get started. I often meet hot chocolate. There is a thing that disturbs my daily activity and it is a problem because sometimes the LPG in my house is empty because it is always used. This is important because if the LPG in my house is empty and my microwave is broken, it is not safe to go outside because of COVID-19. Therefore, with my invention, I can still make hot chocolate without any of them. I want to know how much energy is used for the water to be hot. By thinking what kind of tool can produce heat. The product that can solve my problem is Daily Hot Chocolate Maker. Yes, I observe the usage of steam in my product. My tool uses Ohmic Heating. Ohmic Heating is defined as a process where an electric current is passed through the food with the main purpose of heating it. In this case, the food is replaced by water. The current is passed through the water which acts as a resistor from the forks which are electrodes. The resistor limits the flow of current. As a result, it converts the electrical energy into heat energy. I use electricity for my tool, such as cable and switch. I assemble the small parts of my tool into one final tool. I decorate it using decorated paper. I measure the dimensions of the cylinder. My expected result is that the chocolate drink can be hot. Yes, the product will solve my problem because if the LPG in my house is empty, I can just use this product. First, bend the two forks, left and right one, like what is shown in the video. For the middle one, cut it into half and bend it. Cut the chopstick as the same size as the forks. Then, prepare hot glue and glue one of the forks up and down and paste the chopstick. And repeat for the second fork. And the result should be like this. Take a power cable and cut the black part for about 5 cm. And it should look like this. Then cut the blue and red part for about 1.5 cm and take it out. Wrap the part that is shown in the video using electrical tape. Make sure that the tape doesn't touch the middle line of the fork. Using the rubber, tie the rubber in the middle section of the electrical tape. Next, take any jar that you have at home and clean it. Mark a line in the middle using marker, horizontal and vertical. Now, I am making a precise hole with a hammer and also making a bigger hole using a drill. Then glue the jar lid and the pipe tape together. Cut the decorated paper with a height of 5.5 cm and the length as the same size as the pipe tape around it. Draw a tiny rectangle above the pipe tape and make a hole with cutter. Paste the decorated paper around the pipe tape using hot glue. Cut 4 tiny rectangles from a cardboard and paste it around the circle, like what is shown in the video. Insert the power cable inside the hole that has been made. Put the rubber about 2 cm below the blue and red part. Cut two circles from cardboard and decorated paper with the same size as the pipe tape and glue it. Cut a rectangle in the circle as the same size as the switch. 
and insert the switch. Now, take the blue one, two sides of wire. Put it in the middle, the silver color, and tie it. Then, take the blue part and tie it to the silver ones on the video shown. Take the red one and tie it to the one side of the fork in the middle. Take the blue one that is used before and tie it in the second fork in the middle. Glue all the wires so they will not fall off. Now put the fork tool in the hole. Then glue the upper part of the four card boards and paste the switch. Now the product is done and let's try it. It is already about 40 seconds and the water vapor is formed. It is faster than boiling water, safe to use, and it is more practical. By using force as electrodes and water as resistor, we can produce heat from electrical energy. Next time, I will make a mixer for stirring it with my product. I learned that I can make a product that can fix my daily problem. It also can be used for coffee, not only hot chocolate. And the hot glue can be replaced by resin or sealant. Happy 25 years, IPH! Thank you for watching and God bless you.